Today I'm going to make some whipped cashew cream. I'm going to use two cups of cashews, a cup of coconut oil, about a tablespoon or two of vanilla, some water. I'm going to make it in the Vitamix. And this is out of Annie Fio's Raw Food Essentials book. She is amazing. Okay, so two cups of cashews. Now I'm adding one cup of water, two cups of cashews, okay, and then I'm going to put in one cup of coconut oil. I guess you could cut that with a little olive oil if you want to, but I like it straight coconut oil. It gives this cream such a yummy taste. Now I'm going to start it in the Vitamix. So we've got two cups of cashews a cup of coconut oil and a cup of water. Here we go. Okay, so I've mixed it up for a little bit. You have to really make sure you put the variable speed on low and work it up pretty fast if you can. Make sure that the coconut oil doesn't resolidify because then it's really hard on Vitamix. So I had to take the top off I'm smashing it down a little bit, trying to get mixed up some more so I can turn it back on. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more water because the Vitamix is having a hard time mixing this. Maybe I am. I'm going to add a little bit more water. I added a little more water, like maybe a tablespoon or two. Maybe a tablespoon. And I didn't put it back on the Vitamix. I'm just sort of mixing it in. And I'm going to add in a table of vanilla calls for two tablespoons of vanilla, but that's non-alcoholic, but I have alcoholic vanilla, so I'm only going to put in a tablespoon. And then I'm going to put it on the bag mix. A tablespoon of vanilla. And I like to put this in toward the end because I don't want the vanilla to get beat up too much in the Vitamix. Alright, so I'm going to on. Oh yeah, that's a lot better than it was earlier. That little bit of water helped. And then I got it up onto high speed. And yeah, that's nice and creamy. I put it into a handy jar to put into the fridge. I ended up adding a little bit more vanilla because it just wasn't strong enough for me. So I probably ended up putting in a tablespoon and a half of vanilla. Nice and creamy. You can put this on fruit. You can put this like in your granola in the morning with your fruit. You can put it in banana crepes. You can put it on top of ice cream. You could put it on practically anything and it would just make it taste marvelous. It's so good. that I have a taste. Mmm, <clears throat> yum. Whipped cream. Thank you, Ani.